Hey, what's good everybody? Today we're going to get started on the Mythic Legion's Aether Wave, Balius the Horse. My main man right here, Horse, which I'm just going to say Horse. <laughs> uh, no, nah, this is pretty cool, man. Like, listen, this thing is so versatile and works for so many different things. It's ridiculous how much this horse is going to be like. It, it's weird because I'm, I'm kind of lost of words for how to describe it. But it's like having uh, it's like having any other vehicle. It's a mode of transportation, but it also has its own personality, which is pretty cool. You can pose it up, you can make it look good. It just it's one of those things that have a certain sort of ambiance to it. That really brings a lot to the table. Now, let's get to it. Let's let's talk about it. Um The sculpt on this is absolutely fantastic. What they did with it is that they didn't break it up in too many ways. But they gave it enough look and articulation for it that you can absolutely see that like I said, it just has a certain presence to it. It just it looks really good even just standing here like I gotta say this is solid through and through like without any question so what's really crazy about it is what are you gonna put on it and and what you kinda like uh, bring to the table for this is really gonna be up to you if you just wanna have a character sit next to a horse have it in the background kinda have it just do stuff that's cool if you want it to be like where it interacts with uh, my cat or like one of the cat things like so you can have it like this there are a ton of things and options that I feel like photograph wise it's great but if you're a real fantasy guy it's gonna be one of those things that really blow your mind like for real and again don't mind traffic and all that in the background it is it's gonna be what it is but um <laughs> but no it's crazy so anyway let, let's let's talk so we have our face sculpt here which looks absolutely fantastic let's actually bring this up just a little bit So we have our sculpt here. Actually, I can just pop it out. Oh, by the way, these are, I'll get to this in a second, but you can actually just take apart the horse. And as you can see, our sculpt here looks really good. And you can actually take all of this off. I don't like taking it all off because I just, I always feel like I'm going to mess something up. But you can actually take all this stuff off. I'm going to keep it on though. Same for removing the hair, like if you want to swap it out. So just like regular Mythic Legions, these are also modular in ways that allow you to customize your horse. Let's say you want to paint the hair a different color, do things like that, totally possible. And these are extra parts given so that way if you want to cover up this little bit of piece here, it's going to take up some just some excess space in the background. It's totally fine to cover that up. We have our saddle here. Which, again, you can take this off as well. This is removable. How, I don't know, but if you want, you can visit uh, Nikki Nicole Customs. She actually shows you how to take it apart. I'll actually put the link in the description on how to take it apart. You have parts to hold weapons or shields, things like that. We have our look here. We have our tail, which can go up and go down. You can rotate it around. So if you want to even move it this way, totally fine. As far as our legs go, we have a forward and backwards movement here. You can't rotate in and out. You can rotate these in and out. You can rotate them backwards. You can rotate forwards. You can rotate in. And you have a nice rotation going outward. So if you want to sit down and pose it up, make it look really good, this proof that you can do with the horse with legs looking really, really good. Same for the front. You can actually rotate left and right. You can put it forward rotate these backwards so you basically have actual movements mimicking a horse and as you can see here <laughs> even if I forward all the way back it just it's hard to fit it all in frame in the camera but it looks absolutely stunning but you'll need a stand obviously to hold up all that weight but this looks good for our head and neck we can move up and down we can rotate just a little bit left and right you get a little bit of head movement you just have to be really careful up top with our peg. As you can see, I didn't match it up, so it's coming off. But I'll probably fix that a little later on camera. Don't want to drag this on too long for you guys. Oh, actually, wow. No, got it wrong still. But yeah. I'm going to take a quick break to fix our head sculpt, and then we're going to pop some guys on this to see how they look on top of the horse. So let's take a look at that. So in between setting things up, I realized like I missed a bunch of stuff. But more importantly, I realized that I don't like... Uh, trying to plan out how I'm going to do things and I should get more comfortable with rambling. I've been doing it for this long. But uh, yeah, 
So it's weird because I forgot some stuff. And more importantly, there is the baggage part here on the back that we can actually plug right into the back of the horse. I don't know why I keep forgetting this, but it's mostly because it falls out. I don't mind it falling out, but it does look really good. Stacked up there, looking really good on the back of the horse setting up. You'll also get one short sword. Short sword, short sword. You can actually slide it through this way. So you can store it either this way across, right? Which it'll look cool for storage. Or you can do it the draw sword way, where it just hangs across, right? I prefer to have a sheath this way. I don't like the way this is set up like this. There's no covering. Horse could hurt itself. It's not a good look, right? But it does look good. Then there is your shield. Now, I repeat now, because I've done this and I've said it in several videos, these ones do not remove the uh, the handle. I tried twisting it off and I broke mine. I glued it back in. These do not remove the handle. So please don't be like me. You can also store these, whether you want it in the front or the back for protection. You get one shield. So you can actually store it that way right there. Or you can store it in the back. It's up to you. No one cares where you really put it except you. Now. Now, size not this horse has been pretty crazy because it's like, do you do a size comparison on the human next to the horse? Do you show them on the horse? So I said, screw it. Let's do both. Um, so this is going to take a while, obviously, but let's get to it. Um, I don't have a bunch of stuff, but I do have stuff. Uh, so let's start with a NECA Phantom, which you you know, I feel like he would ride a horse, obviously, right? He's a dude with a horse, and I think this is actually... A really good size for horse really good size for NECA Phantom and I'm scared I'm gonna break this guy on camera which is why I never actually take him out but uh yeah let's try him out he's gonna have short knees this time around because like I said I am scared I'm going to break something on this guy at all times so NECA Phantom is up first and right now he's looking pretty decent on top of the horse Ah, there it is. <laughs> ah, woo! And now y'all see why I didn't review this. Because <laughs> I'm not dealing with this on camera. It's not going to happen. So we're going to patch this guy up real fast. Show him trying to hold the handle. And uh, I like the way this guy looks. I mean, personally, I really feel like he looks really good. It would probably look a lot better if... Uh, I can pose him up more without breakage, but that's not going to be an issue here today. Uh, so a quick pose shows that he does look decent, All right? Let's take him away. Next, we'll do the obvious Mythic Legions. Here's a 1.0 body to show you. So if you've watched my Aether review with Atheon, you already know what you're getting into. This is my makeshift knight, All right? You already know how these guys look on there. Um, I'm just going to show you for obvious sakes, in case you're first time watching the video. Then we're going to pop him up there. Should have removed his uh, front tassel piece, but that's okay. And knights look pretty good. Um, his piece is actually going to hold him in the way. See how it's popping him back up. But I think the knights do look good as well. Let's take him away real fast. Next up won't be so obvious, but I think I really like. I want to try this one. It's going to be a two-point body. And these ones actually like a lot. They feel. Uh, a little bit better to me on there but you also just I just reminded myself I got to finish that Hadriana review but I think she looks really good up there right next up we will do a McFarlane the Witcher I think he does look cool just the quantity Witcher See about this articulation. We got those double jointed knees. As we press on, got really weird. Uh, I can't do soft plastic, but I did soft plastic midsection, which is funny considering he said he couldn't do it for spawn. So it doesn't make sense that it works here and now. And uh, weirdly, because of the way he turns in for his butt cheeks, as you can see that felt, he doesn't look like he sits well on it unless you curve the legs. So that way, that's what you'll have to do. You have to curvature those legs for you to get this guy to get up straight. There we go. 
His midsection won't look too good, but he will look good, pretty good up there. Not terrible. Uh, oh, your main man, old man Logan. Definitely want to put him up there. This one has the CJ custom shirt and jacket. But we're going to try old man Logan up there. Old man Logan looks really good up here. Looks absolutely fabulous. You may know it from the photos, but I also tried my main man Guts with his Berserker armor. He actually looks really good up there. It took me a while to get it to work too because he also has some leg issues. I really got to try out my other one, figure out what's going on with that. It may be because he sat in the attic for too long. But Guts is a large enough figure that he does look pretty decent up there. So that's a good plan. <clears throat> Last but not least, what I am going to try is a Mafex Batman. Because I think at this point, you know what it's going to be like for a bunch of other stuff. But I think I'll try a Lightning Collection after. In case you want to put your Marvel Legends and stuff up there. Here's Batman from Mafex. And oh, let's do a Lightning Collection White Ranger. For those of you that do more domestics than anything else. And now you're in Yeehaw Power Ranger. <laughs> right? So, last thing I want to compare is we're going to do Balius the horse next to a Lord of the Rings horse, which I've used for a very long time. And then we have the Figma Irwin horse, which is actually bigger than the original released horse. And as you can see, when you try to size these guys up, Balius is much, much bigger. But he also looks really cool too. So it's hard to kind of get a grasp for it. So smaller figures and your Figmas probably would definitely work on this guy. This is going to be all right in between, but it won't have any real articulation. Balius personally is probably going to be your best bet for both versatility, size, and articulation, which makes it very well rounded. But again, it's a horse. So trying to explain this has been very difficult for me. So hopefully I've gotten my point across. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it informative. If not, well, nothing else I can do, right? You watched it. Uh, I made it. Time is there. <laughs> so please, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the subscribing, uh, all the good jazz. I mean, do your best to be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.